Cody. All went to school up here. We're over here at Mr. and Mrs. Lane's house. He has a 700 gallon tank in the ground that he's had koi in. And he called us up asking us if we would like to have them. So we're going to take them to the school and put them into the 500 gallon tank. Here's a picture of his tank. It's nice and deep. Now the koi fish are, and goldfish are extremely large. So we'll uh, get a picture of those real quick. There's some of the goldfish right there. They got some food in there they're spitting out. Now these are going to go in the tank three. We're still going to run the aquaponics off of it, but it's going to be the, uh, what they say we can't grow. We're going to use these fish to help grow what people say you can't grow in aquaponics, or we're going to try. This is Mr. Ross from our schoolyard to your backyard, and we're checking out. Uh, it's about uh, 8 o'clock. 8.30. It's 8.30. We're finally back at the school after picking up Watch out, Zachary. all the fish. And we're going to introduce them into the 500-gallon tank. we got a bunch of uh, leafy greens up here. We're going to see if they like to chomp on these or not. Whoa, go easy, mullet boy. So we're going to show these uh, fish going into the tank if Mr. Poteet will uh, start uh, see servicing them. how beautiful them. this fish is. Let me see if I can get one up calm and cool. This is a fantail. Oh my gosh. Look at that fantail on there. Now again, these, these uh, fish were given to us from a uh, grandparent of a student here. Uh, J uh, Mr. Jim. Mrs. Lane. Yep, Jim Lane and, and Mrs. Lane. What's her first name? I didn't catch it. It was greatly appreciated on everything that they did, gave us tonight. Uh oh, this one's going and upside down. That's because. Can we put them in there? Yeah, get them in there. Get them in. The, Zachary, walk them around and get them in. Get them back into some oxygenated that water. That one looks like a manatee. Don't squeeze, buddy. Just hold on to them. I was. Uh, oh, that's oh. going away. Okay. Look at this tail on Look there. at that. Another fan tail. Oh. These are Thank you, Lord. So as you can see, Zachary, easy buddy. Look at the tail on that boy. Oh, Jack Don't, don't throw him, Zachary. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to wait until we get to the koi. I'm going to end this now. We're about yeah. two minutes into it. We'll get When we get to the koi and going to release the koi, I'll uh, bring us yeah, back up. Hi! These are the two koi fish that he gave us. Living large here. Hi guys. Look how big it is. Those are Mr. Petit's hands there. And reach in there and pop that fish up a bit. And Mr. Petit does not have little hands. Like me. So these these fish here are, are whoa! I mean know. that's like eating. Yeah, that's that's good size there. Okay, hang on. Come on, this one. These, oh my gosh, his mouth is big. That is one beautiful creature. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go easy. easy. I was, I was, I, I was hardly. Here, well, here's the challenge, and here's why. Because if they got small hands, you well, let put me, them in there. How um, would you feel if you if you did you tried to pick you up as opposed to your dad's hands? Who would you feel more comfortable in? Daddy's. Right. Yeah, that, that's you got to. I'll. I'll go. Get your finger out of his mouth. Oh, <laughs> that's how he said. Sure your daddy's a nut. Uh, no, I want that. Zachary, you don't stick your fingers in that way. You stick your thumb in there to pick them up. This oh. one here is the fighter. I just take some poop of him. I think I was pooped. Ah, his water's cold. I just want. You want me to go dump the water? Because his is in the ground more. 